Welcome to another episode and today we're going to take a look at a blog network versus a single focused blog. So we're going to cover, hey, should we focus on a uh, blog network and creating multiple different blogs to making it kind of this uh, big synergy uh, play from one another or should we just focus on one single blog at a time and kind of build those things up. So stay tuned. I'm going to share with you this insight in this episode. All right, so if you're brand new to blogging or getting into the world of blogging and building an online business, blogging is one of the quickest ways to accelerate that because once you have content, uh, you're able to put advertisements on that content, you're driving the traffic, and then you're able to uh, gain uh, subscribers either to your email list and then sell products and services. Now, the big question comes down to as you look into the future and project many years out or decades out, uh, you get to decide, okay, do I want to start a blog network or do I just want to stay as a single focus blog? So you might be wondering, well, what's kind of the difference? And if we're looking at just a single focus blog here, uh, a single focus blog might be, hey, I'm looking at selling wedding gifts and favors. So it could be talking about, you know, wedding related things. But if you're looking at a blog network, what you're doing is kind of encompassing anything wedding related. So if I go over here and just say, hey, what are things that are wedding related? Uh, now I could look at, uh, let's say, uh, finding uh, a diamond. Okay, so now we've got diamond related stuff. So what you're doing is you're creating little bubbles in your network uh, to being able to build multiple blogs at different points to kind of encompassing this whole um, area of weddings. Okay, then from here, what you could do is anything, let's say, uh, photography related. So photography for weddings. So you have like cool photo shots, uh, again, visual, the visual aspects. You could also look at dresses. So let's say you have uh, dresses uh, that are uh, the top fashion for 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and so on. So um, a blog related to dresses or fashion uh, in the wedding industry. So all these things start to add up and now this can create your uh, blog network. The downside with doing kind of a blog network is it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of energy, there's a lot more resources, and if you're kind of getting started in the blogging space, you may not want to do all four, five, ten different things in a, your network. You might just want to focus in on just this one big thing. So if you focus on one first and it fails, you've only lost time on that one. If you focus though on maybe going out and trying to focus on four or five or 10 different blogs, if they all kind of fail uh, because you're, you're getting this network going, the whole network fails, it takes a lot longer to be able to just make it all happen and get to success because you've got all the amount of time that you focus on one blog, then you just have to multiply that times, you know, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. So it just makes everything go a lot slower to progress and move forward. So focusing in on one is kind of the fastest way to test uh, your proof of concept. And then you could go to the second one. So as the first one, as you see the traction, you see what's going on, what's working, getting the kinks out, then you could move on to the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. But again, you have to see what are you capable of and what is it that makes sense for you. Now, if you're just getting started with a blog, you're just looking to uh, get it going. Uh, I definitely recommend starting your domain name with Porkbun. They are the sponsors of this channel as well. And uh, it kind of can help you get started with uh, a .com that's uh, great for your online blog or business. Now, looking at this um, and you're looking at doing a blog network versus a single blog, one of the big uh, benefits though of doing a network is what's great about a network. And I would highly look at doing a network in the long run. So you're always looking to think about this network is that one website can feed off of the other. So if I've got these three sites, when, when you're just doing a single site, all your traffic, everything has to come in from external sources, right? So you don't control any of those sources. So if you're trying to bring in traffic, it has to come from a Facebook, a YouTube, a Google, other blogs, but you cannot control it. So it's basically out of your control. But once you have a network, what's great about a network is you control all these different sources. So now if you control two other blogs, and you can feed traffic to this third one, okay, 
now you're controlling the traffic. You're pushing your audience to a, a primary source that you want them to go to. And the more of these that you can have, the more, um, let's say, uh, other blogs that you can have in your network, the more you could kind of keep pushing into one spot or area and cross pollinate, as they would say, to be able to drive traffic. So that's probably one of the huge biggest advantages to doing a network. Not only that, you're able to diversify your income. So rather than your income source coming from just like one big blog, you're able to kind of split that up uh, from your income and just kind of say, okay, well, some income's coming from here, uh, from maybe my primary blog, and then you got a little bit of income uh, from these other areas. And that allows you to just really diversify uh, the scope of things rather than just putting kind of all the eggs in one basket, as they would say. So having a network is really powerful and great when you're uh, able to do it. Um, and you can also dominate that space. So if you're able to have a blog network, you can be the dominant player in, let's say, the wedding industry or maybe the online courses industry or maybe in drawing and animation. Whatever industry you're in or niche, uh, that allows you to really then just uh, branch out and dominate that space. And when you're the dominant player, you're able to drive revenue from all sorts of different areas. And that's really the huge benefit uh, with a blog network. Of course, the biggest downside is it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort, energy, uh, costs, and uh, money really to get it going because you have to hire probably a team to really make it happen. If you're kind of doing it on your own, you could do it, doing kind of one at a time, taking a, probably a couple of years to uh, make it happen. Uh, but if you have a team, you can really get it up running much faster. Otherwise, yeah, it does take quite a bit of time. So anyways, I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for joining me and feel free to grab some freebies to help get your blog going a lot faster by clicking the link right down here or subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.